funny. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Now I'm good. Y'all don't understand. We are tired, okay? We are. But we're going to get This is right. dedication. Okay. You right? We. Oui. All right. So, three, two, one. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of The Real Villain with Emmy. Mickey. So, today, we're talking about something the internet has been going in on, okay? Everyone, everywhere is trying to understand i think that i think that's the right thing to say trying to understand what happened in baby and trying to what is this? exactly trying to see who actually are the people in real life that did that that's another part but really everybody's trying to figure out why did this man want to act what happened to him again like why is he want to write dramatic, dramatic things again so if they don't know the actor that's playing donnie yeah, Donnie. He he went. He's the guy that went through this. He's the guy the story is based on. Um, which is insane. And he's also the producer, I believe. Yeah, creator, yeah, producer, the creator, producer, producer everything. everything. It's baby reindeer is what we're doing. So let's start because this because it's a whole. Uh, it's just for the people that haven't watched it. Like seriously, this is going to be major spoilers. Definitely go watch it. Yeah, I don't know why there's no way for us us to explain the story without you watching it. It's like it's big fact. So. I guess. Big. We start off with yeah. uh, the the first thing we see is what he's he works at a it was bar. At a bar. It was at a bar. And he where which country are they in? Uh, is a is a UK. I believe it's uh, London. No, is, is it, it London? I think it's, I think it's right. well, maybe not in London, but at least they're they're in the UK for sure. For I don't sure. know. If he's in I London. think it is London though, because like when he was somewhere, and then he's like, I'm going back to London. I don't know. Whatever. Please. So he's works at a bar, and then this lady comes in. She's quite large lady um and she looks frumpy she's she looks like she's in her what 50 no for the whites i would say like yeah listen i do not assess age well for i'm for thinking mid to late 40s least. no maybe i'd say so yeah maybe i don't know. i don't know I, exactly I, she, he's 29 in this thing and he and she's older than him quite a bit he's 29 in the thing I'm like, sorry. It, it just shook me because that's not what he. Hey, hey, you know what? Let me let me shut hey, up. Let's hey, shut up. Hey, that's it's not what we're talking about. Anyway, we're talking about milk right now. We're talking about <sighs> baby reindeer, and she walks in, and she looks like she just has that look on her, like, oh, the day has been beating her. And Donnie, he just feels sorry for her immediately. He, he's oh, by the way, he's narrating this whole thing. So his narration tells us, you know, the first thing I felt was sorry was. You know, like pity or something. But also, it's like I feel like it's like your regular, you know, work at a bar or a pub thing. You do customer service, and a lot of people like to chit chat with, you know, For sure. the people that come and talk to you. So obviously, when you see somebody that looks like, you know, oh my god, like that looks a bit sad or something, you kind of like, oh, whatever. So I don't care. Um, I mean, it depends on my mood. I'm a I'm a very nice person, but it depends on how I'm feeling that day. Um, so he. <laughs> It starts off weird because he gets her. He asks her like what she wants, and she says like tea or whatever. And he says how much it is, and you know she says she doesn't have the money for the tea, but she said she was a lawyer. So he's like immediately there's things that don't and, end up, and not any kind of lawyer. She was like, I have Tony Blair, which was a Tony form, Blair is like a the former prime, prime minister. minister. So like she's like, yeah, this is my client, and she shows the client list. I'm like, on a the phone also didn't make sense. <laughs> but I sorry, I have it in my notes right away. It's so funny. Like one of the first things I said, so okay, so she's crazy. <laughs> like right as she, like during that whole tea, I worked for this, uh, you know, Tony Blair, la la la. Mais j'ai pas de, uh, but I don't have two dollars for coffee. Yeah, that, no, because that was yeah. I mean, everybody from that that alone, you know. And he was, and my thing uh, already, Donnie was pissing me off, but. <laughs> like just all ready like whatever um but so pretty much i guess he starts telling how she keeps she comes back and she gets interested in him and like she starts she starts coming every day exactly she comes every day she talks about herself she talks about this they laugh whatever like you know and then she gets interested in his life and about him and they start talking or whatever and then they kind of just show you this random moment where these random moments where she just comes. like it's a, it's a montage of her coming every day asking for a diet coke or something never having the money to pay always acting like she's only always act, acting like she's only gonna stay a bit and she has to go but she ends up staying his whole shift okay and then he basically like um 
says like they were gonna go out for something but then he was like no it's kind of weird like like i don't want to do that because i don't want to give her the wrong impression and then she was like okay well what do friends do because she was geeked for the fact that they were about to go out or this dinner thing or whatever and she he was like you know actually nah and she was like okay well, well what do friends do he's like okay go for coffee so they go for coffee and it was so weird like she had like an outburst. Currently in Montreal, it's 14 degrees I'm and mostly cloudy. Tonight, the forecast is around 13 and partly cloudy. And tomorrow, it'll be rainy. I need y'all to understand that <laughs> we both didn't ask if, if the weather was, you know. I didn't ask for it. Listen, I, I didn't am, say that word. No, I am highly, what a, this fine on For sure, but that was the wrong information. Is it them trying to say do not talk about this shit? Like, what? Maybe. I don't Listen, know. I don't know, but... So, she has an outburst, and then she shows up at his comedy show. Like, it was weird. Um, and she was making, like, little jokes. But she actually kind of, like, helped it go better. Because, uh, side note, he's a very bad comedian. Because that's what he's, like, that's his, that's his, um, side hustle. Well, that's his main, like, he, he works at a bar, but he wants to be a comedian. He's an aspiring comedian, and he's not funny. Again, to me. To me either. But I will say, British humor is great. It's completely different. Nobody was laughing. No, I know, but when I... Again, <laughs> this is a point that I'm making yeah. for somebody else later on in the show. Oh, okay. He's not funny at that moment. But also, outside of this, British humor is completely different. So, like, as th- me me personally, as a human, me assessing if something is funny in British humor, I don't know if I would be able to do it. Because some people might find it funny in the UK. Well, I thought made- Chewing Gum. Chewing Gum was a funny show. It was funny, but British humor is special. I'm, I mean, hey. So, anyways, we, we, um, you know, at the end of, yeah, he, after she comes to that comedy show, he googles her, uh, finds out she's a stalker, convicted, and yeah, and she actually was a lawyer, or is a lawyer, or she was, or she was, but she's gone crazy. And then we, she, he, he starts dating. Um, what, what else did he have in major offense? Okay, so, so here's, here's the thing. Before that, I just want to say, yeah throughout this I was I was just like triggered no I wasn't triggered I was just highly disturbed as to how much he chooses to engage with her because throughout all of this she came so you know he doesn't know her like that she came to comedy shows she came multiple times to to the bar to the point where the boys now it's the boys at the bar literally they know of her they know her like she's just around and they're and you know how men are it's just this but at that little, part in the beginning like it, it was weird that he's engaging with her, but I still thought at that part, like, he's just, at that point, he, he's just feeling sorry. Like, she, he thinks she needs a friend. She hasn't begun, you know, showing up at his house and stuff. So it's like, she's coming to the, he, she knows where he works, and she's coming here every day, and she she's pretending she has this life in her head. She thinks she's a lawyer, blah, blah, blah. Like, he's feeling sorry for her still. Like, you know, I don't feel like, and he took her for a coffee. I don't think he engaged with her too much at that point yet. I just felt like I mean what I wouldn't have done it but I could see like why he's there like damn and the outburst that she had at the coffee shop um no. yeah but that's when he started turning like he was like oh this bitch is crazy they also still engaged after that we we're, we're, we're gonna get we weren't there yet it's it's so pretty much in terms of big events so you he know he starts dating he start before that what Before he starts dating the girl, she finds his email. After all of this, she finds his emails and starts bombarding him with emails. Yeah. So he texts. She texts and emails. Yeah, it's like she. She just, you know. And they just. Uh, one of the notes that I had was, why don't you just send a long one? Why? Why are you? Why are you? So she's like, every time she has a thought, she's like, ooh, yeah, because she's like, I'm constantly thinking about. It. It's like it's an obsession. We see it. It, it happens in front. It happened in front of our eyes. We see she is obsessed. Obsessed. So, basically, she starts, you know, and I guess, listen, I guess he reads it, but he doesn't really, it's, I guess he knows it's not normal, but he's just not paying attention to it like that, No, right? he knows it's not normal, but he's, again, something in him is not telling him to report this yet. Yeah, it's just like, you know, and then that's when we go into figuring out his love life. So, he has a girlfriend, he's, well, no, he's dating somebody, he's not official yet. Oh, okay, you're right. Or are we talking about the past, though? Because, wait, should we go to the past? No, like, I'm going by order of the events we didn't, that... We didn't meet, we don't know why he's living, his living situation yet? No, no, we're going, I'm going by big events. So big events is, that's where, after that, 
Yeah, he's dating they somebody. Really, he's dating somebody. I said he has a girlfriend because for me that was a girlfriend. But yeah, he's dating somebody. Um, but he lies to her because pretty much he's ashamed of wanting to be with a trans person. So he's dating a trans woman that he met of a, of a website on a, trans on a trans dating site. And he basically, he explains, because again, like Nikki said, he's narrating this whole thing. And he explains how, you know, she's the most beautiful woman. Uh, he loves her so much. Like he's so in love. He didn't expect to fall in love. But he wasn't ready at the time that this happened. He was still. He was not ready to fully be with somebody with a trans he, person because he wasn't. He's he wasn't questioning, ready. He's questioning his sexuality because he, up to now it has just been alluded that Donnie has 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 been somehow hurt or sexually assaulted because Martha says something at the bar like you know I I can see you've been hurt or I or I, or I know that. Something about the person so like, hurt somebody you. hurt you. Yeah, or something like that. So, and we saw his reaction, and we see how he's reacting to being with um, Terry, which is the, the trans girl. So at this point, we're like, we don't know exactly, but something has had him experimenting, t- testing the waters, and questioning himself. And he feels extremely ashamed that he's really liking this trans girl. Um, and then, like, Martha, during this, while he's dating a girl, Martha's still crazy as hell. Um, she's thinking they're in a relationship. Um, he kind of tries to end things by saying that the age gap is the reason, because apparently she's much older than him, like I said at the beginning. Um, but like the text messages, the text messages that she sends him are wild. Mm-hmm. Um, and then at some moments of the show, they kind of just put a black screen with like the messages. Um, what she yeah, she sends it's yeah. very explicit. And there's it's always very, typos. Always typos. Just very weird. explicit. I feel like she just kind of just a manic thing maybe. maybe very explicit straight to the point like she really wants him to hang her curtain that comes Which back a lot for a sec. exactly and that comes back a lot in the, in the you know in the show and it's it's one thing that i i read about you know that i i know i took note of when you said you know you can it's alluded that you know something happened to him i was just like the way she read his trauma super fast she would she showed at the same time she showed a lack of anger management i was just like one right then and there he should have left i was like why didn't he leave but also i was like for her to know that this man has been probably either abused or hurt or something like that i'm like either something like that happened to her or the previous victim of her you know uh crazy stalking was or she has the same like, type maybe she has she that has, type. She has maybe she has a thing where she she preys on people like that so that's that's some of the things i was kind of thinking about when i was watching this because i was really watching the show taking notes on like the psychology of the, the characters that i was seeing because i was just like how does that make sense to me that's how i at least that's how i was watching it mm-hmm. that's that's how i could make sense of it for mm-hmm. sure so, so, so you mentioned like some of those messages. They're they're increasingly sexual, mm-hmm. and she she becomes like super upset. Like he's, you know, because he tried to end it with the age thing. It was like about children. Like he wants children and stuff. And now she keeps like messaging about how like she's fertile and all of this. That was insane. Like it's just and like just crazy stuff. And the Donnie's like coworkers at the bar play a prank on him, and they send Martha a text that says he wants anal sex, basically. Um, again, I don't know if I can sit on YouTube, but I already said it, so I'm not making shit. Um, which I was very annoyed by, because guys are so annoying. Like, he's telling, he's getting stalked by this woman, clearly. You see how many messages he's sending. Y'all think it's a joke, because nothing is serious for men. And now she thinks that he sent her this, and she didn't need no more ammunition. It's, and it's, and it's so many, what you need to understand is that we're talking about this briefly, because y'all need to have seen the show but like it's so layered too like their encounters are so layered her reactions are so layered it's just i just going back to my notes and i'm like everything but now after you, the first show she said i love you we all know that she didn't say i love you as in a friend because she said no one like in a friend no no no, no, no she, she meant me. i love you and i was just like and she has a, some kind of there's an attachment issue clearly and there's something that she's searching, and she saw in Donnie immediately. She saw yeah. a weakness. She saw a hurt. She saw a brokenness. That's how she preys on her victims. And sure. that, and also on his end, it's like he sees the madness in her. Because there's a moment where he tells it. It's really like, I see the madness in her. Yeah. But he also sees the vulnerability and the fact that she's, like, fragile and she's, like, not necessarily super sane. 
And I feel like Jingle there was rare. something there was something in the fact that he's trying to be a comedian but he's failing at it for now mm-hmm. and somebody's putting it Guys there is moments in time where you have to start recording again. Okay? Because things be happening. I'm saying. So yeah, here we are. Um, we're continuing again. Baby Reindeer where we were before we had um technical difficulties. Tech difficulties is him breaking up trying to well and it wasn't breaking up like and things with her because of the age gap in episode two. Uh, he's he tries to tell her like you know, like uh, basically, I want to have kids, and you're kind of old, and there's an age difference between us. Oh, um, I thought this was a very poor choice of of, of answer, or uh, like um excuse. Why? Because he's not. A lot of people don't. I don't want to date. I'll, I'll I'll cut you off for one year. No, it's not. No, it's not. I'm not saying that in itself is a bad is a bad excuse. I'm saying to her. Mm. I was like, oh, it's like as soon as he said it, I was like, this is, this is, I was like, this is, she's coming back from this. Yeah. And she did. She yeah. came back from this. And she, she, well, first of all, she became even more obsessed at that part. Like, she's like putting, now she's starting putting emphasis on her fertility. And she's like, but I, look at, you know, I, I can have babies. Writing and all down that. baby names and dropping the baby names out of, like, you know, and the names were wild too. I just think that it's actually. It's troubling that this woman had already, by this point, created such a, like, attachment to him that him saying, like, we can't continue to talk, like, early on, like, I think this is what, maybe a, f- a month in or so? I don't, we don't, I don't know. The, the timeline, timeline of the beginning, we don't really know for sure. True, but it seems like it was early on when he said this. Yeah. And it's like, she was like, oh, no, 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 but look, because she, because at first, I thought it was Obviously, I'm stupid, but I thought I was like, maybe this is gonna work because she was like, Yeah, true, like you are much younger. And I'm like, All right. But then she was like, But I get my periods. Aha uh-huh moment. Aha <laughs> uh-huh moment. Uh-huh. She went home and she was like, Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, but yeah, so okay, his friends are at, in his workplace, they also suck because as she's becoming more obsessed, they add to the obsession. Like, they send a text or an email that said basically that. Uh, what's his name? Donnie wanted or um, not oral. He anal, wanted anal sex. Can we say that on YouTube? We can't. I so said. he wanted behind sex, but behind but s s. You two get it together. Be, um, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we need we need some words to to yeah to replace. Yeah, you like every, all the YouTubers like instead of saying <clears throat> they say unalive. Oh yeah, unalive been been a thing. Yeah, unalive been a thing. But we need some for um for. Relations. Uh, he wanted They're, to have butt relations. She wanted to, but yeah, in the, in the butt. <laughs> he wants you. So. She. They said yep. Donnie wants to hang your curtains from behind. Yeah, that's basically what they texted mm-hmm. her. Deep behind. Uh, oh lord, I'm sorry. Yuck. Hey. Um. So at, at and then later on, he like meets up with Terry, which again, love Terry. Just Obsessed. Like, I just I I really liked the action. I know. Like, it was oh, so like, pretty. Really cool. oh. Um. But it didn't go well because he he had a lot of nervous energy and he was just like I think he's very well we don't th- I don't think he, well, I know that he's uncomfortable with the situation with Terry because he's um he's confused he he's feels like everybody's looking at him he just feels confused confused yes confused. so he get, goes home and on his way home well when he gets home Martha is waiting for him there yeah can you imagine like you you just. First of all, you're coming from a date that you had to escape from because you were overwhelmed, okay, by the whole situation because you're not comfortable with it 100% yet, right? And you have to work towards being comfortable. And mm-hmm. then you get home. As you're probably in your thoughts about, oh my God, like, blah, blah, blah. And then she's here. First of all, I'll be, I'll like, I'll be like, like, oh, hell no. Like, ma'am, like, don't be, don't, don't. Stop don't, it. Don't, st- I know obviously it's a stalking show, but don't stalk me, bro. Like, like, what are we doing? Like, that's annoying. And, and then she proceeds to assault him. Whoa, well, see, yes, that, you know, this is, <laughs> Emmy gave you all that review, that, um, summary with no foreplay. That's what you do, that's, you know what, when, when they say just, like, just enter, that's what it was. Because I was going to lead up to the, the groping, but she said, he groped her. So, she groped him. And, and here's what happened that led up to it, though. Not only did she S.A. him, he froze, 
he she followed him as he was walking away about it because he wasn't trying to deal with her but she followed him and made him feel super uncomfortable cornered him grabbed his his um pp assaulted him yeah yes assaulted him and in grabbed we his wand his, I, call it a, I guess a wand i don't know grabbed something yes he did it so it, 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 it didn't yeah i'm <laughs> sorry it, but so wow but i'm not saying grabbed it anyways you have to forgive us it's been a long day okay um wow what was i about to say okay so we see by his reaction for me that clearly if you didn't know by before when they were hinting at it you could see that he has some type of trauma related to sa like he's there's something going on here he completely froze that's what i just want to say the way she was following him and like poking She's him weirdo. she was just you know when somebody does that yeah but, I, she, but she wants to get the reaction no for sure but they they were by the canal <laughs> the only thing I was thinking about was this is when I thought about this is how it can end in unaliving somebody because I was like I know my brain could not handle this this would have ended up in some and you would be in the canal I wouldn't be in the canal you would be in the canal and I was just like and I was like she's I, I was actually joking. I was actually waiting for some kind of reaction at that moment i was waiting for some kind of reaction from him which i mean we didn't well obviously and, and we, didn't, we, we which you know we later on we understand why had, yeah but, but at that moment i was just like I was wow like, why are you just let like i was like come on but then i realized yeah. okay there's something going on yeah. and okay so then because of this now he's kind of seeing okay this is this is kind of serious um he talks to he finally because terry was like yo What's going on? Why you dish me like that? You know what I mean? And he opens up and tells her the truth about who he is because he had been lying about his name on the... on the And what he does. Is, and what he does too? Yeah, because she was like, oh, for a construction worker, your hands are soft. Oh, what? Clocked. Um, yes. Yeah, that better. He I mean. <laughs> you know? And he and he told her the truth. It's my name, blah, blah, blah. He was hiding his identity on the transiting site because he's not sure what he is right now. And... Also about this friend request and messages that she keeps getting, which is from Martha, which is his stalker. And Terry is mad, obviously, that he's lied about these things and breaks up with him. Or they weren't really together yet at that point. So it's just and like, she's done. Yeah, she's just at like, that moment. She's done. Yeah, I'm not talking to you so. again. So now we get a so he goes obviously from that interaction, he goes back home mm -hmm. and he has a roommate. So the roommate that he lives with is actually the owner of the house, which is the mom of his ex girlfriend, mm -hmm. uh, the living situation. They explain it later on in the show. Yeah. Um, right. and pretty much she has a cooking class, cooking club. Right. So and that but, happens at her house where she gets people and they come and they cook together. Yes. And what a surprise. Yes, Who does he member. see? He sees Martha, who gave a different name. Fake name. Yeah. Obviously, he is horrified. Let's just remind you guys that she just S A M, um, you know, and he's been dodging her. Clearly. Yeah, and she is in the house, and she manages to get herself invited to stay over for to sleep. Cause Which, first of all, I, I can I say something about that? I'm surprised because who? Because homegirl. So his ex's mom, who he lives with, don't know the dear lady's name. But she was getting on my nerves. Because I was like, we don't read signs. We don't read body language. Because I was just like, I'm looking at Donnie. And I'm like, clearly, he's like, I, no, I don't think so-and-so, whatever fake name she gave, should stay. And she's like, no, son. So, so, so. I'm like, girl. This is me going back to too many people have failed him. A lot of people have failed him. They have failed him and they have failed to recognize right. but I just thought the that was horror that on his face. True. The True. horror on his face. True. True. I was like, ma'am, ma'am, let's let's relax. You don't um, know this. Like, and also, do we invite strangers to That's what I was going to say. Because I house? have never seen my mom do something like this. Like, I have just never seen anybody I know do something like it's this. It's not even one of the past cooking club members that you know. You see I don't know. The, like, it's, it's the first. Okay. You're sleeping at my house. Even if I have space. Have a good night. Bye. <laughs> maybe it's different in the UK. Like you, they have different humor. Maybe they have different um, I ain't never seen house that. standards. I don't know. I never seen that flat because they're in a flat. Anyways, uh, the fact that it's got a flat is so. Mm, okay. <laughs> I don't get it. What is, it doesn't make sense. But what is the, is the permit flat? Anyways, 
Whatever. Uh, Let's remind ourselves that the British English was the original. Bitch. <laughs> okay. That doesn't mean they got it right. Sometimes you got it. V2 is better than V1 sometimes. You got it. Oh, it's really cool. VG. I like flat. It's nice. They got a little. Flat? Yeah, I like it. You like it. flat? Yeah, it's nice. Okay. I ain't going back to the flat, you know. In it. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! You have to excuse the deliriousness, guys. This is two hours of sleep. She. I'm so, she's a crazy person, but also, also, now, obviously Donnie is freaked out by this because he's really trying to get the lady to not sleep there, and he hush gets a, a, a time where he can speak to Martha alone when when he goes to get stuff the bedroom for a sleepover yeah. or whatever, and he's like, yo, like what are you doing? Like you need to get out. He threatens her immediately by saying like, yo, because he knows. His conditions of living there is based on him not bringing no drama there. That's what his ex has said. So he's like, yo, you got to leave. You don't involve these people in your mess. I'm, or I'm going to call the police. She heard the police and she she scurried out. It was so funny to me. I had to rewind the scene because I was just like, why she scurry out like a rat? It was so funny. She scurried out, but she left a little gift though. What did she leave? She left a little souvenir. So, oh, the goes picture? To, yeah, then he goes to his bedroom oh, and he finds a picture of her in underwear. Sexy Listen, underwear at that. She was giving it, honey. Hey, sexy underwear at that on mm-hmm. the bed. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, wow, she had time to do all of this. She took, she went home. But she took a nice little, um. And she found Donnie's room. Uh-huh. She t- but she took the nice little, I'm sure she had to choose the yeah. nice underwear too. They didn't she match. She took the nice little she, picture. She, it's fine. It's fine. Hey. Is it? You can't. Okay. Hey. 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 You okay. do what you can. She found a little picture she put on the bed. Us. I was like, ma'am, like, also, and it's like we get, and you, home, you, you, you're not fully there, but damn. But well, you there, though. No, she there. She, but that's the thing. Martha's you're not fully there, there but you're there. Martha's there, because she, everything was plotted, okay? Because my thing is, like, I'm thinking, like, yo, homegirl that owns the house, I, I don't know your name, Donnie's roommate, you ain't see somebody scurry off and go to the bedroom? I'm just, you're not paying attention, sister. I don't know. But we need to talk. Also, like, I just want to go back on something that Martha said. It's yeah. really quick. Yeah. Martha said, going back to the... Um, behind the curtain situation um she said men who don't fancy me are either blind or gay let's, and i let's said i it. said child let's get it say martha because say ma'am <laughs> that is not how it works is it not it's not is it not absolutely it, not it's it, it, absolutely not and i was just like okay maybe men not men who don't fancy her but i this is this is i i <laughs> I have to remind no, myself. Any, any I have notes. to remind myself that she is delusional, and that's something so that is, I. you know, no, I'm no. I'm I'm not no. I'm I'm but I'm just jokes. It literally some, throughout the show, I have to remind myself that she's actually she actually has a sickness because the level of anger oh, was that angry, was inside though. of my but I was I was, still I was boiling. I had to watch this in like two se- two separate um instances, two separate sittings because I, I was, at some point I was just. I feel you. You know? So, yeah. That's all I wanted to... Because... No, and I and I agree. But then, so, after that, she kind of becomes a little bit scared. So, she stays some type of away, but not really away. Because she basically moves into the bus stop across from him. Uh, <laughs> no, I, it's not... A new shelter. Like, um, truly, she moved in. And this is, this is her like this. She, she starts sitting there day and night. She She's there in the morning, morning she when she, when he leaves for work. And he, she says two, three words to him... Always doing advances and all of that. Like, you know, you look cute, babe. Come, you know, you know. And when he comes back from work, she's sitting there in that same spot. And she sees him maybe a total of 3.5 minutes a day. And she's sitting there all damn day. And this goes on months. And that he's looking out the window. Okay. So, this is... <laughs> This is the bus stop. No, actually, this is the apartment. This is the window right here. Yeah. This is the street? This is the street. This is the bus stop. That's the bus stop. So she can... Can you imagine every morning you wake up and you you wake up and then you have to go to go to work and you see her every damn day at the bus stop. Baby, I'm looking at you like this. I was like, is she not eating? What is happening? I was like, how does she pay for rent? How does she pay for food? And what did you have said with that God knew your heart yesterday? When you say, I said I would have, I would have never, I would not, I, I would have walked past her every day, talk about I don't know who this is. No, not this one. You have said how she been sitting there for so long, she not eating and and, and yeah. So and, um, so here's the thing, right? It's too bad because y'all don't get the original reactions to when we recorded this. But the thing that I said was, 
It's out of pocket, but I don't care. It's a How is it <laughs> that many days, that many weeks, and she didn't move? <laughs> I'm sorry. She didn't eat nothing. She didn't eat nothing, and she didn't lose weight. <laughs> I'm sorry. Because she was wasting away, but she wasn't wasting. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, because it's like, um. <laughs> God knows my heart, because he, God knows. And he knows you her. Know? He knows her. He loves her. But hey, um, but I was just, I was just looking. I was just like, that is odd. But also, I be paying attention to them details. It's okay. So eventually, <sighs> Donnie feels sorry for her after right. she's waiting in the cold. Cause she, yeah, cause she been now. It's I guess it's become a cold month now, and she's just still out there for no. And I was, and I'm I telling you, her face like, is just she's drooping more. It's right. so weird. She's just she lost that spark in her eye. He said, and it's like, like I was wondering, like, it. what is she getting from this, or was it all, like. Like we said yesterday, like a manipulation. I feel like it's both. Like it's, both. To, it's both. She's manipulating. She this knew, man. like, eventually she would get to this state, and he is like, "This is the type of guy that will feel sorry for me." So he decides to go and be like, "Martha, I'm taking you home now. Let's go. Come on, let's go." I was like, Donnie, go you better go mind your business. Stay good to your house. And I was like, "Why do you need to have empathy?" <laughs> I literally okay. know what's wrong with him. What is... down? He likes this attention. He likes the fact that somebody is is this obsessed over him that like because he doesn't think he's worth obsession. He doesn't think he's worth love. So he's like, yo, this lady sees something in me that I want other people to see. But I wanna know. I wanna know. You I see wanna... this? You see? But Crazy. why didn't he call? the police or a doctor the firefighters <laughs> that's, that's facts, that's facts. the, 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 the ambulance Don, because it, that he's not the hero then then the cops but you could be a hero while you call while you call the ambulance and check on that lady that's been sitting here day they and might night take her away they might take her, her away they, she don't, he don't want that lock her up he don't want that lock her up he don't want that he needs her near her. he needs to feel relevant i need her to be locked up well donnie didn't need that because we saw what ha- anyways so the world needs her to be locked up people are like child. i'm sorry i know it's a disease but they need to be when i say locked up not necessarily jail but at least a mental institution no i where I, she I, could get help i listen razón, tú tienes razón. i agree however mm-hmm. he goes in to make her tea and when he's making the tea we see that she lives like a somebody that has somebody that has a hoarder like she lives like a very dirty person um, you can tell somebody, somebody that is dealing with mental health issues. A yeah. lot of people that deal with mental health issues have, you know, some kind of form of where they can't necessarily like clean up to themselves and stuff like that. She has a lot of, she has a lot of cell phones, mm. which is alarming. Um, she has a lot of, you know what I mean? Like there's a bunch of like cups and things in the same. The cell phones was a sign though. Yeah, cause, it was. Because all these burner phones. Hey, hmm. you know, it was, um, it was just everywhere and the music that's playing and the dim lighting they really the, when they in that scene they set up the thing to make us see for the first time really they put they put us in front of her disease as a disease and not just she's crazy it's but like, like really, no this, this person is, going, is through. going through something yeah right and even the music and i was just like i mean i know they're trying to make us feel a way but i'm not feeling away i'm just upset at this point that he's in this woman's house because now you there's a boundary again, another boundary that has been broken for me. So, um, so he gives her the tea and he sees, looks at her and he realizes like, yo, this woman truly believes we're in a relationship. So I have to do relationship things, which would be I have to actually break up with her as if we were together. And that's what he does. Uh, no, uh, oh, well, <laughs> that's what he does at that point. Um, and she seemingly takes it okay but here's what he said where in my book where he should not have said that he was like in order for it to remain the fairy tale that it was we need to leave it at that and I, when yeah, he said I fairy that, tale I was, trying... I was like oh so you know she's just gonna hear fa- fairy tale she, like she's not, like beautiful. everything and else something else ruined this she life. didn't she didn't hear none of i was like oh this is this is yeah, he's he's not helping himself at all. He Donnie, Donnie didn't have the tools to deal with this, but I mean, who really does? But he just, I had so many questions. So you know, she she disappears for a little tiny bit, and then he has a comedy show that's coming up again. Donnie comedy, why? Um, <laughs> Terry, who kind of shows up to the comedy show with a couple friends, really wanting to kind of like make fun of him or laugh at him, but 
I don't know, she kind of filling the kid, you know? She has a sweet spot she, for she him. She has a sweet spot yeah, for him. So, like, they end up talking backstage. Oh, but before that, Martha was also at the show. And Martha fucks up the show because she's she mad. She's wild, in. She's mad about the breakup. Tell her how you just break broke up with me. You wanted anal booty relations. And... <laughs> Like this, this wasn't this the first word you did. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? <laughs> but yeah, what she was saying it's a wild trip. Like, yeah, was she like, wanted a B relation. This, this is what it is. Like, it's I mean, funny. Just, listen, like, listen, whatever. And then, so he he pushes through his show regardless. Mm. And when they're he's backstage, him and Terry talk. He's like, yeah, that's Martha and blah blah blah. We gotta get you out of here though. Like, cute that you wanna. You know, we can't And not but Martha coming back. So we can hear her. It's looking like one of those action action movies. Like those horror, like, those thrillers. Yo, when you, you hear noise, you're like, oh, we need to go. Like, what? And Donnie's like running away. And it seems like they lose her. They end up back at the bar. Um, and this is the where. The bar where Donnie works. This is and, where I said, some something right. And this scene is, again, pissed me off. Because Donnie and, and, and Terry are talking. They're working out their relationship. Like, you know, whatever. Is what happened, they're happy, and they're having a good conversation. And Martha pops up out of nowhere and literally lunges and attacks Terry the in such a violent way. Foul shit, the I, most foul thing. Truly, I was uncomfortable. I hated the scene, made me like I remember watching it. I was like, I, and I know there was a lot of traumatic things in the show, but that scene specifically, it did something to my to your, body. Yeah. I was like, whoa, yeah, it's, like, it's a very uncomfortable scene. Also, the actress. Oh, she's in Martha, I'm like Mwah. the way the Stella. able to portray that emotion, like great I'm, job. I'm Ma'am? like, are you slightly like crazy Ma'am? too? I'm great sorry, job. like because I was like, damn, like I believed it, but like I, I was, and it's like, like, and it's like she started saying a bunch of stuff. the transphobia, and the, I was like, the racism. Not Martha is a racist too. I'm like, so you, you have everything that you have and on top of this you're racist too nothing like there's nothing i could give you there's nothing that to make me have some form of compassion no towards you qualities i because you know you know sometimes you can you find something yeah. you can sympathize and i feel like that's what he wanted to do but i never in this throughout what the he was series, seeing, i, didn't I see. never managed to sympathize Facts. with her Facts. O- the only thing that he kept doing was into i she was antagonizing the whole everybody i like that you brought that up because i feel like because so many times we see donnie sympathizing with her empathizing with her and i always i feel like i felt like i didn't get it like i didn't see like there are people that you can sympathize with you feel sorry for them but i'm like i don't feel sorry for her like i'm like i was wondering what is he seeing trauma and she's seeing his trauma he's seeing somebody that's obsessed with him she's piercing through his soul Mm, he's piercing through his soul. So and after he's just she, being seen, he's being perceived. Not even seen. He's being. She's he's perce- being perceived. She, you she know. Said, he's, she said she wants to crawl into his skin and wear him like a jacket. Or something. I mean, a lot of people have said that online. I've seen. I've seen. No, the way she said it was creepier. No facts, because she, you know, she has everything. She said it like I want to unzip you. It was. Anyways, it was weird. But pretty much, she atta- uh, not only she attacks Terry verbally, but she attacks she, Terry physically. She, she, she literally she scalps her. Scalps her. Physic- like, she scalps like her. Like hair out of the fo- follicle. Blood. Like, blood. Like I was so I felt so bad for Terry. I was like, because she was actually like like trying to help She's and like, like giving you this. like resources and like we can like you know we can fix this no, type of can't. thing. And she was like, you are the scum of the earth. You look like a man, and that for a trans person is, and somebody that is probably still very sensitive about that i was like this is that's how you that's how you i was like that's insane i was like because the amount you of things somebody the amount of things that was said i was like that's crazy. i would sink the boats on and she was coming crying. out good country I was, like, I, was I was like wow i didn't like that donnie didn't act in that scene at all he didn't he didn't try to stop martha to, that, for me at least to my liking he didn't try to stop Mar- Marta as much. He didn't say anything when she was spewing all of these things. And it's like yeah. after, it's after the fact, after she attacked her physically, and then he went. A bunch of people had to grab her and restrain her. Yeah. And then that's when he went off on her, and he was just like, "You just need pretty much to disappear out of my life," but like really aggressively. Yeah. Um, I think. And that's when he decided to go and report her. Yeah, but but I think police. I just wanted to say one thing about that. I think that um, he was in shock. When all of that was happening, and again, I'm not to like excuse mm-hmm. like him not jumping in right away. Martha is a tank, like mm-hmm. like we see even in later scenes, like it's hard for even men 
to grab onto her when she's in her this yes. kind of manic state that she's yeah, yeah, in yeah. and he it's like he snapped out of it when he went and he yelled and he told her off i was like finally donnie like he did say yeah. some shit that i was hoping he had been, had said to her for a while but again even though he was like stayed away from me we all knew that wasn't gonna happen but at least after that abuse what happens no pretty much he's i mean just to go back on your point i see i feel what you're saying he was shook but i just if i was Terry and this is how you acted and this is the dangerous situation in which i find myself in because i'm in your yeah. presence oh no I, I cannot. It's Anyways. Good. Okay. But after all of this, he's like, okay, this is the moment where you realize this has gone to... Now, it, it got physical. Mm -hmm. So, not... Well, it already had gotten physical, but I guess it, it, it got really physical to somebody else. Fast. Now, somebody else is being involved. But so, I need to, to go and police. report her to the police. And However, doesn't report the abuse. He doesn't report the abuse because it Don't brought know. up feelings of... He brought up the past that was... Illegal. Not just feelings. Just, I, I guess... It's trauma. I guess, yeah, past. but not just, like, just memories. I guess the memories came back flooding. Right. So, so in this episode, so... we get to, uh, we go in a flashback episode where we see, we finally get to see the core of what has happened to make Donnie um, such an easy target for Martha uh, and a, a trauma bonder for her. And we're in Edinburgh. He's on a trip. It seems to be something where he's working on some comedy or he's working at a place working on his comedy. Um, it's a bar or club. I'm not quite sure, but he's over there. This is a, they say it's five years ago, and he's doing shows in this little bar, and they're going really, really bad, um, like bad. And at the end, he collects money. Nobody gives him money. Mm. It's just you know, it's not great. His it, the, the you have to start somewhere, I guess. <sighs> hey, hey, don't let get me started on this man's career. Um, but <laughs> I will start. But you said it get, you said that maybe the comedy is different. I was just like, how is in what world is that funny? I was like, okay, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> the bar owner lady, she kind of like gives him a, this card one night, like this exclusive access that she has to a, another bar or this place that's exclusive to get into. She's like, hey, do you want to go to this? With, since you like to network and stuff, and he's like, okay. He goes to the bar. He tries to talk to some people. They're kind of a holes to him. But they, well, you know how people be when they're in Hollywood. True, or but also the, approach, the, also the approach was awkward. But he well, he's an awkward guy. Yeah, so true. it's like, because I'm going to say so. Yeah, I was a, I was thinking about something too. But, but yeah. So he gets approached though by this guy named Darian, who he's like, yo, these guys, are, they suck, blah, blah, blah. Like, yeah. And he's like, tell me, yeah, but he's a writer on Cotton Mouth. like, yeah, I'm the creator. And then he's like, oh my God, you Darian, as in Darian, whatever, whatever his name yeah. is. He's like, yeah, so I guess they develop some a kind relationship. of relationship. He takes a liking to, to Donnie yeah, for some just, reason. Yeah, he's really like, they now have I a know little, the reason. <laughs> I mean, they have a little relationship ongoing and, you know, it, it's fun and stuff for Donnie. But then at some point, the guy disappears and Donnie w goes ahead to uh, drama school. Was it drama school? Wait, Peter's hold school? up, hold up, hold up, hold up. The guy takes a liking to him, starts helping him make the show much better. So Donnie thinks that this guy actually takes an interest into what he's doing and can help him because he actually helped him once before people started laughing at the shows people started giving him money don't know why it still wasn't funny to me um and then like i said maybe a british humor it still wasn't funny they start going out he at that place they're doing drugs and everything but when basically when D donnie is done with all this and then goes back to london he doesn't really hear from what's his name darian for a while so he goes back to his regular routine with his with his ex at the time, his girlfriend Which is at the time. basically, it was in drama school. Acting school, yes, and, and all of these so, things. So he's in drama school. Mm -hmm. um, and, yeah, he's kind of like, oh, I'm missing this guy. Like, I was realizing that I miss this guy. And, like, I'm here in drama school. Pretty much, he shows, like, he's here, but he's not really here. Because he thought he was about to go somewhere. And then he's like, because that's, you know when they think that's your shot? Like, he's like, this guy's you know, in the for industry. for sure. But it's like, you could also have... You know, done drama school. You don't know what could have... You could have maybe improved. But Donnie's not that smart. No, I mean, listen. He could have maybe improved. You know what I mean? So, basically, you know, at some point, the guy calls him back, and he went running. So, he was like, oh, my God, cool. This guy sees me. Let's go. Me. Let's go. And it's like, they link, and yeah. they basically go from yeah. smoking weed to taking some coke to stronger and stronger drugs, 
And it's like the things you're willing to do with people because of their status and what they could do for you and the attention that someone in power gives you. So they go from, like I said, coke to then one day Darian is like, do you really want to get, like, do you want to get really high? And, and I just like, want to say one thing as you're continuing this. This is all prefaced by under the guise that he was coming to his house to pitch scripts and ideas. And then every time they would start doing a little writing talk and then go right into the drugs. So Darian doesn't really give up about that. Yeah, so pretty much. I'm also I'm assuming that you've seen the show. So this is why also I'm not giving too many details. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause, so pretty much, um, he's like, do you want to get really high? Donnie says hi, says yes, in a way that was way too enthusiastic for me, but then he just had coke, so you know. <laughs> uh, he was, no, because when you have coke, you just, you just super speed. Well, Donnie was very open to taking a whole bunch of drugs. I was like. Yeah, he was very naive. Very, Sorry. very naive. And the guy comes back with like two little shot glasses. But so also, Darian reason. is grooming him. Like, I, I don't want to give too much, like, yes, he's naive, but it's also, Darian is playing with his head. No, no, truly, for fully. sure. But again, I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say what's in the little shot glasses, and then we're gonna discuss the, the what's him being what's in the shot glasses. And he asks him, no, that's not asking oh, no, yet. It's MDMA? MDMA, so Molly and GHB. For anybody that knows what GHB is, there's been a lot of talks about it. Is the rape drug? Anybody knows that this is the rape drug? It is known as the mm -hmm. rape drug. So if somebody I didn't realize like, that there was GHB in the glasses. He said there's G. He literally says it. Oh, he, he said relax it. Oh, You're gonna relax. Wow. There's two shot glasses of GSB and MDMA. You at somebody's house that is supposed to help you with your career, and yeah, it's fun. Like you've done okay, Coke, I guess, because a lot of people in creative industries do Coke. I'm not saying do Coke. I'm just saying. And now somebody tells you, yeah, there's MDMA and GSB in the shot glass. Are you you want to be famous? Are you gonna take it? Because I I'm no, I'm, I'm not. not. That's what I'm no, saying. No, I have I'm not. so many questions for Darian. I'm but, not. I mean, for so for Donnie. A hundred percent. Darian is grooming him, but even he himself. Um, uh, he himself, Donnie, at some point in the show, he's like, I was very naive. Yeah, and he's he really was, himself all through the narrative. He was like, very naive at that moment. Yeah. So pretty much, and this is not me blaming victims, I'm just saying. No, it, but it's, no, but, but I, it's, 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 we need to have an open conversation about it because Donnie was, in a lot of ways, he questions himself. He's like, why was I doing this? Why was I doing that? And that's why I said, I mean, obviously our video got deleted. We lost it. But yesterday I was saying like, there's something that had to have happened even before Darian. In my it, like, there's something that marked him. Like that. There's some type of uh, insecurity, that, huh? maybe with his father. I noticed a difference in relationship with his father to his mother. Like, I was like, there's no for him to not. The alarm bells went off too late. Uh, most people, their alarm bells would go off earlier. But that's but that's the thing. I feel like the people like Darian. They prey on people whose alarm bells don't go off. Yeah, of at course, that moment that we, course. that uh, maybe hours would have. And gone the same on. way that Martha was, and this is why he connects the two. Exactly. The same way that Martha was able to see it in him. Yep. Darian saw the same thing. Exactly. Some a, a guy that's looking so much. But it's not for, even. It's not even what they saw. It's as much as what he's just because he. I feel like he can't. Well, he he, yeah. He, not just exuding, but oh. I feel like once you start giving and taking, it's not exuding. It's like what you allow people to do to you. Because technically, there's a lot of things that he could... With the Marta situation, there's a lot of things that he could have avoided. Seriously. Right, basically. But, but what I'm saying is that these people targeted him. Oh, for like, sure. Martha immediately saw sucker... Sucker... But even outside of 15, that, he, he gave coffee and she was already gone. Darian she saw, was gone. Darian saw uh, sucker number 25. Like, he they, he knew. So, so pretty so, yeah. much like MDMA and GHB. So, understand. Molly makes you super, like, touchy-feely. Yeah, GHB. but Donnie had a bad trip. He started... He started throwing up. Yeah, so pretty much, I just wanted to say from that specific cocktail, that specific cocktail to me was giving, because as he's tripping, it's not even tripping yet, he's just literally, for now, he's just, his head is in the clouds, and his head is in the clouds, and he's like, Darian is in his ear talking about, you're going to be so famous, you're so successful, you're so talented, yes. and it's literally, he I'm like, this is a state of, grooming. this was giving, it's not just grooming, it was literally giving hypnosis, you know how they put you in a, in a certain trend, like a, a state where your mind is like subjective to like, but that's, it's literally inception, but that's literally inception. what grooming is, it's, 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 in a, it's, in a, it's a form of hypnosis, it's a form of brainwash, what he's doing is he's implanting ideas into his brain, that this person is going to always defend him, this person is almost going to, you even see it like with, with Martha a little later on, he almost like, empathizes with her when she's getting it's like oh i feel bad for her she shouldn't get arrested or like i'm till this day the the actor playing the, i mean not the actor the guy who's still who, protecting this yeah. guy it's like it's it's a form of like i'm 
I'm your biggest no, fan. For, no, for sure. But that's what I'm saying. Because I, I feel like there's different forms of grooming. But this one specifically, I was like, oh, no, you, you're... I feel like you're insane. This man is insane. For sure. Clearly. For sure. You have to be insane for this. So, yeah, like, like you said, a, um, Donnie has a very... He has a bad shape. And he starts throwing shape. up. And he, he starts um, running... Not running away, but he kind of moves to a different part of the living room. Because like yeah, he's, he's, he's trying to... And he's vomiting. Yeah. And then um, he falls down. And he's on the floor puking, and as he's sick on the floor, um, Darian comes up behind him, and... And at first you think it's like, you know, like, a, yo, it's good, you're gonna be fine, like, it's okay. Yeah, that, that's what they, they portray, that, uh, yeah. portray to be. Um, but no, he immediately essays him, and he, uh, I don't know if I can be graphic, but he fists him. We don't know if that's that. We don't know if it's a fist, but or it could be fingers. Because that would be insane to actually do that on like like no, uh, it'd be crazy. It's it's most likely fingers. But again, there was some kind of in and out motion going on, and Donnie, again, we see him, his body, like it's almost like he at that moment he was in high no more, and he breaks that spell and he's like stop. Yep. Like he like that's what he could say, and I was just like, oh, I felt so. And it's like. The, the worst part about this is Darian stops. Mm, he gets up and he's like, would almond milk do? Like, as if, like... I have nothing to do. You just... Yeah, I'm just going to give you something to I drink like, to feel oh, better. This guy's a and then he was like, it's okay. Well, and Donnie says, I'm sorry, because he just threw up on the floor again. And I guess he's still processing what's happening. And he's high at the same time. For sure. And Darian's like, it's okay. We'll go slower next time. And I was like, next time? And for sure, like, for me... Next time! Because I've never been through this, again... I don't know how I would react, but I would think I would say like, "What the fuck was that?" Like, you know, like I feel I would feel like I would react, but I guess again he picked his victim well. But also the amount of drugs that he was pumping him with would also I'm thinking you. They, yeah. outside of being sedated, I feel like you have to develop some form of of addiction to that. And who is giving you the drugs but that man? So you have to yes, also go back. But it's like he I never like talked he, about it. He never issue. talked about it, but I, I read some some articles where apparently like he had to battle the addiction. Because it's like you're getting you're taking MDMA, you're taking GHB, you're taking Coke, you're taking like That's he ended up I taking know. acid at some point and a bunch of other things. He tried crack. I've never heard of somebody trying crack and ne- and not getting and just, hooked on something. Oh, I I I've heard of casual crack takers. I didn't know it was possible. What? Like, yeah, people I'm sorry. I people casually do I crack. I do not too. clearly. It's a lot. Hey, it's I, a lot. I don't want to know either. You have to have a strong ass tolerance. Shout out to y'all. Um, I mean, I guess with everything they were taking, um, but like it, it's like it's one of those things where even himself, as is narrating the thing, he's like, I don't understand why I went back. Yeah, he's because, like with everything. Because after that, that first incident, yeah. he keeps coming back, and I and I and I said I don't know if it's the promise of fame or relevancy. I don't know if it was the the enough brainwashing at that point that Darian had already done. But this guy is coming back, Maybe and, I, and I'm like, mixed together. it's yeah, it's all of that mixed together. I was like, does he think this is his one shot? Because he's like, I went from a guy who like, you know, occasionally smoked weed to full out trying crack. crack, crack, crack and act. So, uh, uh, and then as soon as he would pass out from the drugs, all of these drugs, Darian would essay him. He has blurry, fuzzy memories of those, but he would wake up and there would be. Um, so live on his, and, on his, you know, member. We're, we're and, gonna put a disclaimer at the top of this video also to mention that we're gonna go a little bit into, into, yeah. into SA, it can be SA graphic. Things. It can be graphic sure. for the people that that could trigger. Um, but yeah, it's literally like, and and also he was outside of drugging him and using some kind of like drug mule. He's having Donnie work for free because he's like. Like, he's taking all of these ideas that Donnie is pitching and pitching him at his, at his work, and he's not paying him. He's not adding him to anything. 100%. He's not adding to anything. Like, 100%. it's just like, and yeah. he's he's so far gone at this point, Donnie. He's not even spending his birthday with it. I mean, um, his girlfriend's, his girlfriend's birthday, birthday with her. Like, he's leaving on the day, and she's like, what? And, like, and so, at that moment is when, like, the, the, major, um, the major thing happens, so... They're all major, but this is they're all guess, major. No, but this is on. this is the yes. this is I guess this is the the culmination of yes. what has been told in that story. So he goes to uh, Darian's house, and Darian this time is like, "You want to try acid?" And he's like, "Don't worry, I'll take it with you, whatever, so you feel safe." But he said, "I'm taking a much ta- smaller dose yes, so I so, can be your guy." So he didn't take anything, clearly, in my opinion, he didn't take anything. Probably not. And so he gives. I roll after you've tried crack. What is acid? You know, no, because because listen, I was I was already wow. Um, so 
He gave him some acid. It's a little meth. Obviously, acid. Apparently, you see, you hear colors, you see sound. Like you just. Oh yeah, he was in. You you just not there anymore. And he has a realization as Darian is dancing some kind of weird dance in front of him. I'm sorry. It was it was the worst I'm thing sorry. I've seen in a long time. Even his he's description just, of the dance was hilarious. He's just like his brain finally clicks and he's like, I'm in danger. danger yeah. This is dangerous. You need to leave. You need to go. So but obviously he's on drugs. He so he can't do anything because he's drunk. So it's just Donnie like Darren tries to calm him or whatever. And this is when the worst events out of well, at least out of the ones that I, that we've been shown so far. Yeah, he fully, he fully, fully, full, a full blown depiction of a of an essay. So, bi- penetration so bad that yeah. Yeah. the scene after is basically you know Donnie taking a shower and realizing the pain that yeah, because it seemed like he had been in and out of consciousness throughout. Yeah, and so when he went to the when he was in the shower, I think it was when he it fully like he was like in the scream he let out. Yeah, and the. The extreme, like, mental game that is yeah. played after where Darren comes up to the door so calmly. After a scream like that. With a towel. What is that? Like, hey, like, like, you know. And I was just like, wow, this guy. Like, how, one, I was like, it, it made me curious, like, how many victims? How many people has he done this? Oh, he's done this. He like, has a towel already. He's, he's I can't believe, I think that is so, like... And it's this, so insane. This is where I was just like, and again, that type of thing didn't happen to me. I don't know the psychology mm-hmm. after that. I mean, I've read a lot about it. But I was just like, this is where my notes go. And I, I said it yesterday. My notes go insane because I'm like, I would burn the life of this man. And when I say the life of this man, I don't mean just his house. I will burn his career. I will burn all the relationship that he has in his life. I will hire people to empty his bank accounts. Like, I will make, I will, no, because... I will ruin his life. I get you. I get you. I will ruin his life. And again, I'm not saying this is how this is how it works, but this is this is the kind of reaction that he got out of me because it was so like he stayed with him three more it days. It was a visceral reaction. That's what got me. He stayed with I him said, three more days. Bro, 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 Donnie, 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 wake up! Like I was like you. This man has violated you sexually, and you are here three more days, so working calm. with him, taking care of his sick cat. I was like Stockholm syndrome. I, it, it can only be explained by it, Stockholm syndrome. Well, Stockholm at least it's, it's definitely Stockholm syndrome. From what I like, gathered. from what I mean, from what we it looks like, that's what it is. And then finally, he goes home, and then at this point, it's not going well with his girl, as Cause you can imagine. Because I mean, he can't have, he can't make love to her. Intercourse. He, 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 there is no intercourse because it's like one, he's in pain. One, he's in shame, and he's having shifting desires now. He's watching. Um, Gay porn. I don't know if I can say gay that porn. word. Corn. Corn. Yeah. I gay said porn. It. So he's watching these, and now obviously he's starting to question himself. Like, wait, was I always like this? Am I like this now? Like, what, what is happening? So they break up. Him and his girlfriend. He starts having a bunch of meaningless um, intercourse with a whole bunch of people, different gen- genders, every type of pe- person. To try, he's trying to understand himself. He's like who he is now at this time. Yep. He go start going on a whole bunch of random dates too, and he says in his narration that until Terry, that was the first connection he had had from time because he was just doing love her. He re- and he really liked Terry, and be- but again the fact that she was trans, he was like, yo, like again, what is this? Would I feel this way if Darian hadn't done what he did? Yeah, and oh. that was the that's where that's the question that it boiled down to for him, and the the shame of like, and then in, is the assault. Did it benefit my life? Because you want to think that this was a bad thing. Like, this was not right. I'm traumatized from it. But then, I meet this person that I really like, and I don't know if I would have been attracted to before. That was, that was a, that must be a mind F. That must be a mind F, like, to, to just have to go through all of this. But basically, this closes back on, like, we're back on theory, which they assault from of Marta, Marta on Terry is what led him to go to the police and we end the flashback with him basically being in love with Terry and he's like okay it's crazy that I'm about to report Mar- Marta but I'm not reporting Darian uh, D- oh, Darian. Darian so it's it's one of those things where it's like now from that moment he a- actually reports Marta to the police but the police obviously is useless the first time very useless um, a lot of victims of SA have said multiple times that the police is useless and they actually cause more harm a lot of the times with the questions that they ask, with the things that really? they refer. 
yeah no more harm no. yeah with the things that they infer especially when it comes to women when when you're being asked like what were you wearing that's not what they asked donnie but it was just like you know how long has this been going on like six months how long has this been going on for like six months and it's like you know it's one of those things and so basically reports marta to police and as he reports her to the police she backs off because now the police is involved but now he's terrified because he doesn't know where she is he's not hearing from her he's not seeing her and that he doesn't have the comfort of knowing her mental state around that time like where she's at right but and she took a step back from him but she was harassing people in his life so remember guys he's living with his ex's mom so She's a she's starting to she's sending friend requests to the ex. She's following her. She basically came up to her in the street and like attacked her. And he comes home one day and the girl is there talking like yo like explaining the story to the mom and he's like yo I think um I gotta tell y'all something. By the way, I'm being stalked. I'm being stalked and they're like yo what the hell like especially the ex because she's like yo like I'm sorry like I said don't bring no drama to my mom and this is a dangerous situation and yeah. You gotta get rid of this. And the mom says, Yeah, like, sorry, Donnie, like, you gotta be deuces. So Donnie gets kicked out. He goes to live with these guys, like, he, these two guys, these roommates. They have a really nice apartment or mm-hmm. flat. And, and, but however, all he likes to do is to party and take drugs, which is not great for Donnie. Um, basically, he ends up just spending most of his time in his room or going to Terry's. That's where we kind of see t- him and Terry's relationship progress now because like he, he's spending all his time over there again i am baffled that terry decided to be with this man after she got scouted by marta yeah every time she would have been baffled. out i would have been, it's so much drama in the beginning i would have like, been out it's, it's you like, wouldn't have been it's out like, oh you have a stalker it's not even like i love my life Facts. enough and i have a family and friends that i love i want to be there i don't want to no, no, I get you. No, and I think, but I think she was really like again. I don't know what the ex- we are. We're cis, um, hetero presenting women, and I don't know what it's like to date as a trans woman. Woman, so maybe when you find a pretty good, decent guy that likes you, and you guys have a good connection, maybe you don't. You're not just quick to throw that away as we are. Like kind of like oh, cut ghost. Maybe true but this is i mean this is your life in danger kind of thing i and I, sure. I, I hear what you're saying and again this would be maybe a conversation to have with somebody that is actually like you know that would be um trans. a trans woman yeah but like again i'm just saying out of purely for a safety reason no and i get that too she she was braver than me but uh yeah like they're having uh, difficulty in the bedroom because he's unable to um have intercourse with her and they start talking about his sexuality Terry asks, like, you know, what did you know you were into trans girls and all of this? And he doesn't really have many clear answers for her because I still think that Donnie has not figured it out for himself yet at this point. Um, And then there's stuff that's like, you know, not only is she not getting her bag blown, but there's, you know, stalking going on from, from Martha on her social media. She has to lay low. They have to hide in the house. She's getting mad. She's like, yo, what's up? Like, what's up with the police? Like, why are they doing nothing? I bet you didn't even tell them. And Donnie's like, yeah, you right. I didn't tell them about the assault. You right, you right. And, of course, she was mad because she literally scoffed me. But okay. And <laughs> Donnie then goes to the police, finally tells them about the assault, and has them like, yo, Google this lady, you see that, you know. And the police officer is like, oh. Oh, let's go in the back. Um, now we're gonna take you seriously. But I was seriously. like, Donnie, why'd you do that from time? You should have done and this from, like, from time. From you discovered that this was happening, episode one. Um, but yeah, yeah pretty much, um, the police act involves, a, I guess, a special somebody that has dealt with things like that before. There's a, a, a lady that is being involved, and they asked him to create a timeline of the events. They asked him to, like, you know, basically, because he said this has been happening over the past six months. So they're like, okay, you need to tell us exactly, you know, mm-hmm. when, where, how, with who, um, you know, and what has been going on. And for him to create a timeline of events, it's it's a bit, I mean, a lot of things have to happen. It's like you have to go back and do everything that has happened. No, man, I told we, that's not, we didn't get there yet, actually, the timeline. The timeline is later. Because right now they just, they just basically went to talk to Martha 
and they were like we're gonna get her to back off because like when she hears it, like maybe that's all we'll have to do and literally it did work for a moment she went completely silent on donnie not even a text or an email donnie kind of starts missing her at that point he starts missing her he finds that weird because like you said before they don't know like what you're doing they, because you don't know what they're doing there's um mm-hmm. There's a fear of, like, not knowing what's next. But I also think, and I said this in our first video, I also think, yes, there was the fact of not knowing what she was doing, but I also think he really, like, missed the validation that she provided, in my opinion. Um, and he kind of has these, starts having these desires, like he, um, can I say, can I say that? He, um, yeah, I mean, yeah. Towards her. Her, how do I say that? No, but like, how, like you, you know, he decides to play with himself. Play with okay, that's a good word. I was gonna, I didn't, I was gonna say, anyways. So he plays with himself to her, to her photo, and ill, and then he's like, and then I literally wrote, yo, this guy's crazy. He goes in and uh, has intercourse with Martha because at this point the photo was not enough. He was just like, okay, like let me go see, like and what is this? This is where another time where he effed up. Cause why? Oh yeah. It's Big another time where he like you up. literally, and I was you in the middle of a police investigation on plus. On and, top of that. and she's finally leaving you alone, and you go and find her. And she was her. so happy. She was so happy. And she and she got that back crack. She was and so I happy. was like, my goodness. And then, like magic, apparently this thing has fixed his libido. He was just like, oh, now he can go and see Terry, and he can, you know, do the things. And then, like you know, the police was like, okay, it looks like this is all over. It's gonna calm down. But you know. Donnie was like, I, I one update with the police. He was like, he was really nervous because he thought maybe um, Martha would have told them, like, you know, hey, you came and saw me, and blah, blah, blah. But it seemed like she was very compliant. She never said that. And and until he thought, okay, we're all good. This is good. And then Martha called his parents. And, and she called his parents, talk yeah. about your son is in the hospital. Had an accident. Can you imagine how your parents. Because parents are leaving voice notes. Voice Especially notes. when your parents are far and yeah. you're not with... And to call with that type of... I was like, Martha, you were pissing me off. Like, that was not nice. I mean, she's not nice. I know she's not nice, but she's... Like, she's so crazy. So she called the parents. The parents are freaking out, obviously, as they should. He's just realizing, okay, this is taking some proportions. Again. All right. So Donnie goes to see... Yeah, he goes to see them. He said, like, so, his, his dad was so funny. His dad was cussing Martha. He's... She keeps calling on unknown numbers, and this man is picking up the phone. I was like, I would have just, like, ignored her. He's picking up the phone. He's calling her all types of C words and B words. I was like, I don't know. His dad was funny to me. Um, Listen, it's, I didn't even, that, when I tell you that this whole part of it, I didn't, my brain just went, <laughs> completely skipped that part. Exactly. I was just like, I'm just ready for her to be done. To be done. Yeah, and she, was, and she just, was on her way out. It, um, like, I was just waiting for her to be done. So pretty much, uh, you know. After the parents' incident, and he goes uh, he and assures decide, him that he's alive. Yeah, he decides to uh, go talk to her and ask her to, you know, leave him and his family alone. And he basically decides to like he trick her, to trap her. He wanted yeah. to uh, frame her. So he's basically like, if you leave my family alone, I will hang your curtains tonight. Let's remind ourselves that this already happened so for some reason. Research. So it's oh. just like, Ugh, yeah. Sorry, I what? forgot. I was like, forgot. Yeah. So basically, he's like, yeah, if you leave my family alone and my my people alone, I will hang your curtains tonight. Just send me an email. Send me a text. Because that's how send desperate me an email he was. of like all the dirty stuff you want me to do to you. Mm-hmm. Blah, 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 blah. Just he's really being explicit and trying to get her to do what. Like he's, he's like, yeah, because it has because the police said it had to be clear. So he's like, he's trying to get so, her to like, send, but exactly, he's trying to get something incriminating. One thing I do want to say about that. Why does Donnie only feel the need to take action against Martha when it's like threatening somebody that he knows? Like it's almost like for him, he doesn't care about his life like that. For him, he was like, "Bruh, yes." But I, like, oh, it's like, okay, I finally get to I go report her because you know she's calling my parents now. Because like, it's, it's not that deep. It's just me, and she hasn't like, been violent. Donnie, yet. she's been a li- yeah, but she hasn't been violent yet. I, I mean, mean she vi- literally no, but like she him. yes, but she hasn't been violent yet. yet. You know what I mean? But because there, was, I feel like I feel like that's what it is. But so even when she, okay, go ahead. No, ahead. so basically, like you know, he, he's taunting her with that thing, and he's like, "Yeah, do this, this, this." But the result of that, also, there's an ongoing police thing going on. The result of that is that when he goes to the police station, they're like, "You, like, you're lucky she's not pressing charges on because you. you did you go see her?" And well, he's no, like, "I saw her briefly," and they play. Mm. 
a portion of what he had said to her, but just the portion where he actually says, can you send me an email with all the disgusting things you want me to do to you? Martha and had basically, been recording everything. Yeah, she had been recording him the whole time. Everything. And it's just like, on top of being, and it's like, I said that in the previous video that got deleted, is she keeps violating him in different ways. Mm -hmm. She violates his privacy. She violates you know is safety she violates all the environment in which he finds he could find himself safe she violates and the conversations that they were having these things she violates so she basically violates him in multiple ways and it's just very annoying because now it's like uno, it's on top of being uno reverse it's really like the police officer is looking at him like you need to go and apologize and he was just like, what do, you, what do you mean I have to apologize to her when she's making my life a nightmare? She's attacking the people that I love. She's the one mm -hmm. doing this whole thing. And the police officer was like, yeah, but what do you want me to do? What do you want me to tell you? You need to go and apologize. I didn't like the way she talked to him at all. I felt like this was highly inappropriate. You could say the same thing and not use a language that is so violent when it's somebody that is a victim. Clearly, this is abusive. Yeah. So I, I, thought, just, I mean, thought it was sensitive. It was, it, in, like, it was I really insensitive. Thought it was the way, insensitive. She spoke the way she spoke was insensitive. And I, I kind of disagreed with it because I was just like, I think the police and me and myself were over Donnie. Because we're looking at Donnie like, Donnie, Donnie, please. Because. But this what, is. Because so at this point, it's like, yo, sir, you are. You have done things in this situation that have not helped your case, sir. And I'm trying to help you. And I'm telling you, just tell the. the we, he's, she's like, I understand. She told him, he's like, I understand what's going on here. We know her history. She, we know she's great. But you fed into her. You fell into her trap. So yes, apologize. Like, don't argue with me over what you have to do. I'm trying to keep you safe. But here's the thing. Where and where, uh, also something that I mentioned, is I, I really feel like the police needs better training at, at handling situations like that. Because I still, I understand what your point but I don't think that's the way to talk to somebody. Like, literally, I don't think this is the way to talk to him. Yeah. Personally, I thought it was way out of line. I, I hear you. I, I thought it was way out of line. These people don't have been no, a better way. These people don't have no training. Yeah. These people don't have no training. You don't know what that could trigger. You have no idea what that could trigger. You don't know what you're doing. Yeah. She knows what she's doing on a police level in terms of investigating. Mm -hmm. She doesn't know what the fuck she's doing in terms of the impact that this could have on somebody's life. And reading some of the comments that uh, I went on Reddit, I went on a bunch of things to try and understand a little bit more some people that this happened to. They were like, we got had the same exact things from the police and that's really like that's really sad i mean in my opinion that's it really is sad. It, it's absolutely sad it means like that none of these countries know how to deal with this um so pretty that, much at, at that point though i just want to say like he goes back and he explains to terry what's happening now and she's like bet cool anyways that's nice we're breaking up this is a little much um and i was happy that terry finally came to her senses should have yeah. been before then but but still like i i think she was just like Again, like, I feel like she wanted to give it a chance. I get I, it. I, you stop me, it's done. <laughs> no, it's done. It's but, done. But he didn't done stop her. Oh. No, not you. Whoever is around you, orbiting around you, I don't need that. I'm deuces. Saving okay. myself. Yeah, I get you. And, and the reason I even get you more is because the stalking could have been contained from time. Donnie allowed it to go on. So it's like that this way you are putting me in danger. Because of your little what what the, like Terry told him like do you like this like what what is because it, it's literally like you said from time because episode one he knew that she had priors mm -hmm. he could have just gone to the police and said this woman has priors she's talking me help me yeah no you know what I mean he so, didn't do that so it's he like, basically he goes to work and Martha comes in um and his colleagues and the managers are are back there getting high or something. And yeah, she, she comes in and antagonizes Because she's just angry now. She comes in on some very mean-ish. And she's with some patron that's beside her. And he's like, she's like, yo, this guy. You want to see this video? He he's he does shite, shite comedy. Again, <laughs> again, again. One of those scenes that made me understand why people end up unalived. One of those scenes that made me understand why people end up unalived. You can't push somebody's buttons like that without somebody snapping at something. But point. he detonated, though. And at, but he did say at some point at some point on the show I don't remember when but he did say somebody's gonna end up dead and I'm not a killer one out of one, that, somebody yeah. out of us but I could end up see dead Martha and I am killing not a killer for sure I see I could see because so many times I thought she was about to snap so many times but I wanted him to snap because I he, no she was he wasn't gonna do no that. I know I'm just saying like I watching this scene the level of antagonizing that she was doing. I'm happy that he actually said a little something that it made it worse, but you know, 
Because basically she was like, yeah, like Nikki was saying, he's shy at comedy, this, 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 this. And I she was like, yeah, just Google this, look at this video. And then he said to the guy, how about you, how about you Google this, giving the title of the tabloids at the moment where she actually was stalking the, the son she was of, stalking uh, the son of a police death, officer yeah, or something. Yeah. And when she heard the title, she just, she lost it. She was as like, if she ruined. didn't know she was a stalker. For real. It's like, she ruined, she, she was like, you ruined everything. You ruined everything. She grabs a glass and she smashes it in, in his, his face. face. Mind you, at that, at that time, Donny had asked for Marta to be barred from the bar. Mm -hmm. And she was barred from the bar. But that day, because the managers were backstage getting high, the, the new guy, he asked him, you know, to bar Marta. And he was like, I'm not a manager. A manager has to be there. I'm not doing that. And so... In the situation, he got assaulted. They took Marta out. And as he's bleeding, you can hear the managers being like, oh, you can't report this. It would be bad for us. It would be bad for us. Because, you know, the manager is supposed to be there at all times. And, you know, you can't report this. We'll go to your comedy special tonight and we'll buy you a drink. Oh, yeah, because that's going to fix it. And, and that's, again, one of those times where people have failed him. And especially those two. Throughout the show, they failed him. Because they are the reason why... Oh, no, his co-workers are horrible. Are terrible people. They are horrible people. So, yeah, basically this brings us to the famous, unfamous so he, comedy special. Yeah, so he decides he's going to get back to his comedy, get back on the mic. He's still doing his horrible physical, his physical comedy. That night, it's obviously he's injured. His face looks like he's got beat up. He, the routine is going very, like, literally zero laughs. So he's like, you know what? F it. Like, he, he's like, you know, he pulls up a little stool, sits down. It's like, listen, here's what I've been going through. And he told them the story of the last few years of his life and plus the last six months. So starting from Darian and that whole grooming slash SA situation to Martha and literally, like he said, allowing a stalker into his life and re reveling in it. And obviously, as he's talking, yeah. talking about all of this, some people, I guess, feel uncomfortable and they leave. And he's like, okay, just leave. And then the light comes on to tell him that your time is done. He's like... F it, I'm, okay, I'm, I'm like, still gonna, I'm still gonna say what I have to say. And somebody from the audience starts filming him. And a few people were filming him. Sorry. You know and, how that go. Yeah, and then this ends up, this video ends up being posted on social media, and it's like an artist, like a comedian, breaks down at his special. And from this, from him revealing his trauma, it goes viral. He goes viral, gets invites to podcasts, gets job off, like. A bunch of job offers, a bunch of his things. His career starts taking off. His career starts taking off, and it's... Overnight celebrity. It's overnight celebrity, but it's also one of those things where I was watching this, you and as I was... Trauma. As I was watching it, on top of people loving trauma, I was watching this, and I was just like... He became famous not because he was a good comedian, at least from what is portrayed in the show. He not became that. famous not because he's a good comedian, but he became famous because something happened to him. Especially because... You literally mentioned also somebody f famous in the industry. For sure. And, and, I, mean, and I guess really he's sad. so good. But, but for him to have been to able to take it, at least he got to put his writing on display. He wrote the book, then he was able to write the series. Um, and, it, and to be fair, it's a very well-written series. The show is, I think, incredibly produced. Um, very well acted. Yeah. Um, so at least he got to showcase some talent in it. But it's, it is sad that it happened it from... Is. Um, these traumatic experiences. It's very um, sad that it happened from that. And basically, you know, after that, um, you know, Martha calls him because she saw the video and she saw how he was his talking about her. And she's, she's like, oh, do your parents know that basically you like men? And, you know, basically she detail. said, do your parents know you're a booty bandit? And so he's like, you know what? She's like, I should call them. And he's like, you know what? I'm going to take this into my own hands. And he cuts off his phone for a little bit and goes to his parents' Because she was calling nonstop. Yeah. He had to cut it. He had to little turn off his SIM. But he was like, so, he, he was very afraid of his parents finding out that he might, he might he's not fully straight. Like he, he I had mean, like a lot stress of people, on like a, like a lot of people. But you know, I never really realized that it was so prevalent in like, in like white families. I don't, I mean, I just thought it was more like a... I thought they were more open no. to it. It's just a thing that people go through, unfortunately. And especially, I feel like... is it, it, I don't know how old it is now, but I feel like back in back when that happened a couple of years ago, um, it wasn't as... The, especially, this is the UK. It's not... Can, Canada is very open, okay? Especially Montreal. We're in Montreal. It's very open. It's very, you know... Like, at least from... I'm from Europe. It's not as... That's not, you know what I mean? So I wasn't surprised that he was so afraid 
to go and tell his parents. But he goes and tells his parents and, you know, he has to sit them down and try to have a heart to help with them. So he, he starts from, you know, he starts from the, the, the situation with Martha mm -hmm. and then, you know, he ends up with the Darian situation. Um, that was a and very said, big... The big one for him when he's dating and now I'm... Yeah. Uh, He's, da he's dating a, tr a trans person. A trans I'm in love with a trans. He's in a love with a trans woman. And, you know, his parents really uh, welcomed him with open arms. His dad also shared uh, what is implied uh, sexual... Well, well, no, essay. you have to give the, the line reading, though. Because she was like... Because he said, I, I didn't want to talk because I thought you would see me as less of a man. And his dad said, would you see me as one? And then he said, mm. for me, that wasn't even that one. And then, then I, he was really no, the, the, the afterwards. And then so the the, Donnie's church. like, what do you mean? And he's like... He didn't so, even say what happened. He said, I grew up in the Catholic Church. So. And then yeah. they they have a very big it's open just, scene at that point. He spent some time with his parents. He stays disconnected for really a while. It's really good, I feel like, that he took the time to be without his phone. Yeah. Um, you know, and enjoy time with his parents, being able to fully explain everything that happened. Because he did say he said that he, he went into all into the details. details. And then as he goes back to London, as he takes the train back, he... <laughs> switches back on his phone and he's like now it's time to like you know to deal with Martha pretty much it's, it's time yeah his um, dad said good luck with the transsexual before he left yeah that was a very funny scene his but dad, um is but pretty much yeah he gets back to London and he needs to he needs to now deal with Martha the police he want a timeline to, they want to say give me find me some specific the so that we can yeah he literally he literally was like off the record the police officer was like off the record Listen, she sends you a bunch of. She, she, she's she's you a bunch you of right now. She like, does. She's like, doing things. Find just committed. find something. And I feel like it was a good advice and a bad advice because that sends him into a listening to Marta's, Marta's voicemails like podcasts. He starts. It was a good. To, it was good advice. The police officer doesn't know that he's somehow getting off on this, so doesn't know that he's also giving bad advice. No, but that's, no, that's what I'm saying. For me, it was good and bad at yeah, the same time. Yeah, it's yeah. really like you know. He gets into this whole like listening to it looking for some kind of proof or some kind of something that could help him but at the same time it's really like he's getting hooked on, on listening, listening to, to Marta like and listening podcast, to, you know he's classifying it putting it in little folders she's happy she's mad she's this she misses me whatever until like, he's actually able to find something because she actually threatens the police I believe um, um finally report her she, so she finally gets arrested and charged she gets charged it was a very very I was very satisfied. She I wasn't guilty. too satisfied with the scene. It wasn't enough for me, but you know. But it was real life. She pled guilty and I she pled she guilty to, to counts of, you know, um stalking, stalking. and two counts of harassment, yeah. which was really good. And I guess she goes to jail and as she's crying, but she fully knows what she's doing, but she cannot She was aware. That's and we talked about this. stop herself. We talked about this last time that she she was so aware and was able to plead guilty because she's not the I guess definition of psychopath like not she's not even she's not a psychopath though. she's she knows that it's it's think. wrong what she was doing and she knows all of the manipulation that she did because she was able to plead guilty it's just that I really did think that for her she, f she fell in what she believes is love what I think she thinks stalking it is love I, I again I would love to d dive into her psyche more if they, if they like to know more about her but yeah. It's uh, she goes to jail and um, was there anything else that happened after that? Yeah, she goes to jail and you know somehow so his career oh, is right. his career is booming, and he oh, goes right this guy. He oh. goes right. He's, he he finds himself uh, going back to Darian's house and Darian's like, "Do you want some tea?" And he's like, "Yeah, I would want some tea." And I'm like, "Why would you want something from this man?" But anyways, again, again, I'm not, you know, the psychology of this is is I'm not a psychologist. I'm not a psychiatrist. Uh, so he accepts it. Darian is like, you know, we're going to work. It's not going to be like last time. And as he leaves Darian's house, he shaking. He accepts the job at Darian. Yeah. Darian. He's just shaking, like literally mm -hmm. shaking. And what can comfort him is him listening to Marta as she, listening to voice notes okay. of Marta as she's basically saying like, oh, you know, this color looks good on you. You look good. And yeah. basically compliments and stuff like that, which is like, it's a, it's a very, you, and that shows the very complicated relationship that he had with her and, you know, all of this. And yeah, the movie kind of, well, the series kind of ends with him at the bar not being able to pay for the drink that he has and the bartender being like, you know circle. what, this is, 
this one on the it's house, on and it was full circle. I do want to do, do address what I believe, and I was doing some research Martha would have, which is erotomania. So when you think, like you said, when you think somebody's in love with you, but they're not, usually it's like a celebrity, somebody you may have never met before. Mm -hmm. um, and that often leads to, you know, stalking. It's also called the Declarambo syndrome. It's rare. It's usually, it usually happens in women. And it's usually linked to another mental health uh, condition like schizophrenia, bipolar. It could be other things. It lasts from weeks to years. Um, I, from what I had read, I believe like the, the doctors don't really exactly know why it happens, hmm. but it does um, does happen. So it's a delusional disorder, and you can't really process social cues the way that they are being sent to you. So you misread someone's face or someone's body language, what somebody's telling you. You may think they're flirting when they're not. You think they're interested, and it's idea that grows over time and develops. So I feel like diving, feeding into that made it even worse mm -hmm. um that what it was at the first um you know the first time and donnie yeah donnie definitely confidence issues uh you know he has definitely you know some form of ptsd um maybe trauma bonding with marta definitely trauma bonding um you know probably stockholm syndrome and i mean again i am not a psychiatrist but i was just like you know i had to go and read about the show go and read about the people i'm very interested in psychology and all of that so i was just looking at it like i kind of want to know what's happening so it was interesting it was interesting to see this as a show and see like stalking portrayed like this um because usually we get the the crazy stalker that is like she, she wants my life she wants my life she wants my husband or he wants my you yeah, know he wants, I, he wants to replace me or he wants my life i enjoyed the and, vulnerability yeah the vulnerability of them showing this side of stalking and what it can do to the stalky like how they can sympathize with their abuser how they can actually have empathy how they may actually like their abuser while still having a crime committed against them in both ways you know from, from in the darian situation and in the martha situation maybe seeing the good in these people or may having to rewire your brain into thinking there is good in this person right I, I really enjoyed the perspective and I think it's a, it's a kudos to the show creators to the actors who um, who really portrayed I wanted I want to shout out some people definitely I remember the girl who played Terry loved her performance Na Na Nava Nava Mo Nava Mo I think that's, yeah, I don't know how that's pronounced. and yeah. uh, the guy obviously the guy who plays Donnie is he himself he himself but I forget his name I want to search it up because what is the show called child um, baby reindeer, baby reindeer. <laughs> and uh, also for me it's like the, the richard gad richard gad yeah. and jessica gunning who portrayed martha out of this world yeah out of i think this world. i think this was a very well made uh very good portrayal of um some mental health disorders mm -hmm. um because we don't often get to see that side of it we often get to see the crazy and sensational right. side right and so that was very interesting to see this that. This was the, a, a humanity and side to it. Um, yeah. I still didn't... They wanted us to empathize with Martha. I don't think they did. But I think no, they no. wanted to show... I think they, they wanted to show the humanity of it, from they, what I read. And they wanted to show that nobody's perfect. And I get that. But because I'm like, um, I'm, Donnie I'm, did enough sympathizing that the audience didn't have to sympathize with Martha. I'm just... But I was just... Listen. And, and really... Yeah, this show was... Uh, this show was very triggering... I feel like a lot of people. Yeah. I feel like it's, it's a, a tough people. watch, but it's, it's very true. But in terms of art and like creation, like it's an excellent show. And I think, you know, I need to watch a bunch of happy things <laughs> in the next few. And I'll go same, back to sci fi and whatever because I'm. I do that all the time. I mean, it's reality or, or like now kind of like gone back to like animated series a little bit too. Yeah, no. Um, I'll, you know what? I'll watch anime because what? No, you have to catch up on the Housewives, so might as well. It's They're so funny. No, I get it, but I also want to watch anime. So I will watch anime because I want to. I will watch The Housewives, but I will watch anime. And yeah, it's just, listen, it's one of those things where... Why you read me like that? It's crazy. No, because you, every time, let me watch anime. I didn't I say you can't watch anime. anime. Girl, watch your anime. So pretty much, it's just it's just one of those things, one of those shows where I'm like, yeah, I... Mm. Was it was it, it a nece was it a necessary show? I think it might have been necessary. Yes. I think because... Really. because um, we need to see that. It also, also again, Nobody I will say, I will say that again. It also highlights the lack of resources and help that there is when it comes to mental health issues turning to crime 
and how victims can feel alone and how victims may not have the capacity to talk to people and how the police is not helping because they're not, they're not trained for that. And I do feel like we as a society need to do a better job at, you know, providing training and having people in certain places that can actually help. I, I do think, um, yeah. you know, yeah. that's the one thing we need to do, especially mental health. Please... I agree. So yeah. we're gonna wrap up this season. I mean, series. I don't think there's obviously not a season two I'm, to if this. There's a, even well, if there I was, mean, even if there were a season two, I would not watch it. Not I'm not watching this. Um, but yeah, so it's time that we give our real villain. Um, for me, um, villain of the show, uh, you know, undoubtedly Martha. Uh, we see why she would be perceived as the villain. But for me, the real villain is Mr. Darian. Um, let's take acid. Johnson. I don't know what his last name is, but it's it's Darren. That that mother. He the setups, the manipulation, the, the flawless fact, execution. The fact that he's still walking around outside. The fact that he's For still free. walking around making money. Outside. Free. Also, side note: the creator of the show didn't want people to try and find who this is. But if y'all find if y'all find him in some hey Richard, hey you gotta you gotta let if y'all find him. Be, I mean, listen, um, for me, it's the same. It's the same. And it's literally the same. Like, show villain, Martha, real villain, Darian, and special mention to, yeah, to the police who, for me, wasn't. The Actually, was the police wasn't helping. And I would say his co-workers. Yo, they side villains. Co-workers. Yo. Villains also. Literally. Because they witnessed the abuse from time. They witnessed a lot of things and they let it play because it was, it was funny to them. It was a little funny thing. We need to do better at, like, noticing when something is not all right. Let's do and better. Just, yeah. All right, guys. That's everything. We will uh, see you guys next episode. Who knows what it will be? I'll, we'll surprise ourselves. It will be, uh, be fun. It will, But it will be fun. Tune be in. Fun. Subscribe, like, comment, share. Do all the things. Yay. Bye. Bye.